It's running at the moment just through my uh, music. You know, equally, I can using my little remote control here control the uh, control the dock and my atrix to play a slideshow of some of my photographs. And it does this all simultaneously. It has the same processing power as the Motorola Zoom. We have the Tegra 2 NVIDIA chipset running a total processing of power of 2 gigahertz. Uh, we have a gigabyte of onboard fast PC grade RAM and 16 gigabytes of uh, onboard memory. That means that all of that delivers a really lovely, smooth consumer experience, um, be it music, photographs, or even high definition video. Um, this was a video that we watched previously, Timescapes, and the director here, Tom Lowe, he creates beautiful videos by knitting together still images into an overall movie, and uh, it makes for a very, very nice, uh, very, very nice viewing experience. This is outputting at the moment 720p video, this particular one. Now, what I like about this very much is the ability to just be able to say, okay, finish there, I can pull it straight out of the multimedia dock, and then my phone appears exactly where I left it. Now, the, the, the Atrix is an absolutely wonderful smartphone to use. It's very powerful. Having all of that processing power, it's extremely smooth, very, very fast. We can come in, have a quick look at the gallery here. I, let's go into uh, landscape mode. You'll see how fast that comes in. You know, maybe we come in. Let's have a look at this one. And again, let's zoom in. Oops, go on to the next photograph. You can see some of the detail on the screen. The screen is a 4-inch quarter high definition screen. That means it's 960 by 540 resolution. It's really bright, vibrant, and faithful reproduction of colors, um, which is very, very important if you need this for photographic work. So, other interesting features about the Zoom, um, as, excuse me, the Atrix. Uh, we have, uh, along with this beautiful screen, actually... Um, a 5 megapixel imager which will shoot high definition video and a fingerprint reader so it will read your fingerprint to unlock the device it's an extremely secure um, feature on the, on the side we have a micro USB port and HDMI port so that's how it works so seamlessly with its companion devices and uh, multimedia but all of that processing power you know, can deliver way more so what we'll take a look at now is uh, how we can leverage that uh, outside of just um, just the device and the multimedia dock. Here we have the laptop. What I'm going to do is to plug our Atrix into the laptop. No special, uh, <laughs> no special technique there. We'll just press webtop. We'll see on here that um, the device powers up. Okay, and then all of a sudden, what comes up here is um, a screen with our phone. The phone, this has all of the functionality of the individual Android phone. I can click on here. You can see all of the same menus uh, that, that we're using. I can even play the video games, be it Need for Speed Shift or whatever else. It can even pick this up and lean it side to side if, if it requires it to play the video mm -hmm. games. Um, so if a call comes in, I can just take the call straight from this uh, lap dock. Now what's worth remembering here, the lap dock is nothing more than a screen, a keyboard, a mouse, and battery. Okay, so what's the, what you're viewing is effectively what's on the Atrix. The Atrix is the computer here, and it's powering all of this. So you can also see that whilst it's in the laptop, the battery is charging. Okay, so you know whilst, whilst you're doing your computing, whilst you're viewing your movies, you're also charging your battery. Very, very useful feature on long flights. The, web, the, the webtop here is, is the operating system which has come up. It's, it's the Linux um, operating system. Now, on the Linux operating system, we've provided a full 3.6 Mozilla Firefox browser. So, you know, you'd recognize this, um, the Motorola website. I can click full screen here to maximize the use of my screen real estate. I can come in and maybe examine any one of these individual products. Alternatively, I can be open on... And several different websites at the same time as it is a full Mozilla Firefox browser. We work with Adobe Flash, Adobe Air to have very, very compelling entertainment solutions. So let's see what's happening in the news. 
Now the communications is only using um, the the three G connection on the Atrix uh, here. Um, so what you're viewing is truly a mobile solution. You know, even you can work on Wi-Fi if there's a Wi-Fi hotspot as well. But uh, what you're viewing here is is just just straight off the phone. And again, it's it's the full websites that uh, that you're seeing here. So let's quickly zoom back up. Let's. Um, have a look at the birthday celebrations in Korea. Uh, uh, I'm sure that was, uh, I'm sure that was uh, very enjoyable for everybody who attended. Um, so, Kim Jong Il's birthday. I didn't know that. The 16th of February. Very interesting. North Koreans joining mass celebrations for the birthday of leader Kim Jong Il. You can see that the video starts to load. Whilst it's loading, it's completely in line, exactly the same way as it is um, on your computer back at home. Okay, so. We're delivering a full computing experience here. If you wanted to work on your documents, perhaps you have a Microsoft Live account or a Windows Live account or an iWork.com account, so you can work on your documents on the cloud. You can access documents anywhere. But remember, most of all, this Linux operating system is fully open source with any number of separate applications which are developed for it. So um, it's a very, very supremely powerful device which, we, which we're showing here, the Motorola Atrix, and we believe that is the world's most powerful smartphone. So, I finish using my laptop, I close it up, I pull my phone out, and again, no special care needed, it uh, automatically comes back straight to, straight to where I left off when I was on. Now come and have a quick look on, on here. You'll notice that actually the, the screen of the phone has turned into a mouse, okay, with a left and right mouse button. So I can come up here and then, let's turn, take that one off, um, full screen mode, let's click on here. We can have a quick look at the, the phone again. And, and now, let's click on Angry Birds. Now, remember the Kim Jong Il thing? That's still exactly where I left it in the background um, as he celebrates or continues to celebrate his birthday. So, yeah, let's uh, take that one off here. And you can hear <laughs> you can hear Angry Birds playing in the background. <laughs> okay, let's get back and we'll sorry, let me come back. Oh, I'm just trying to get there. And let's minimize that. Okay, let's go play. Oh, somebody's managed to get three out of three. Lucky them. Okay, now, of course, we can play Angry Birds full screen as well. <laughs> on, a, on our individual device. So, here we go. <laughs> Not bad, huh? <laughs> so, yes, you can see that I'm a player as well. All right, and then we'll quickly, we'll quickly close that one down. Um, so that's really unleashing the power of, of, of Atrix with the high def multimedia dock. And we can remember that this comes with three USB ports, so you can connect your existing peripherals, if it's a mouse, if it's a keyboard, which are wired either through the USB or the Bluetooth, or if you have um, USB storage, maybe your external hard drive. I know I have a movie collection which is on my hard drive, I can plug that straight in. And using the entertainment center, this becomes the center of my, you know, my, my entertainment, as long, along with things like IPTV. If you think about the BBC iPlayer, we can deliver BBC iPlayer straight from the device in the home, as well as providing a full computing experience as well. That's what makes Motorola Atrix the most powerful smartphone in the world. <laughs> okay, thank you.